<laughs> I I hate the I hate the term almost as much as what 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 it what it entails. You know, the worst thing that Rich Piana could have possibly done was a video on this, and I don't even know if he really believed it, but he did a video on saying that you know if you have a weak body part, if you train a couple sets, you know, you know every single day of the body part, you're going to improve it. I find that all, all you do. I always tell people, if you have a weak body part, train it less often. Don't train it more. Um, now, if you have a weak body part because you're not training it properly, that's a different story. But assuming you know how to train, if you have a weaker body part, it means it doesn't recover well. So you want to give it more time to recover, but you want to hit it with maximum intensity when you do hit, when you do train it. So, like, I've seen people have weaker legs, and they want to do legs, like, three times a week. And it just makes their legs worse, because now they're overtraining, breaking down the muscle too much, it never recovers. But if you get them in the gym and you make and you show them how to squat properly and you realize that they're only doing like half reps, they're not going all the way down on squats, they're not activating the muscles properly, they're doing leg presses where they're moving the weight, you know, six inches. They're doing everything they're doing is too heavy, thinking that they're gonna grow, but they're really not even activating the muscle. Fix your form first, fix your intensity level if you're not lifting heavy enough and pushing, you know, through the pain barrier, and give yourself more time to recover. That's the way to go. So I, I'm completely against feeder workouts. Feeder workouts are good for like people who can't feel a muscle group. You know, like if you can't feel your back really when you're training, and you, and you know you might want to do so. You know, do pull ups, a couple like a set of pull ups every day, just to really get that really feel and squeeze. And once you get that mind muscle connection, then you don't need to do that anymore. But invariably, overtraining a muscle is never good for the muscle.